this is uh, something I didn't think was going to happen, but uh, I'm very pleased that it is. Well, I was a geologist. Uh, I worked uh, mainly with the government. Uh, uh, the last uh, geology job I had was uh, with the National Park Service, and I traveled all over the country. Every place they sent me was a national park, so it was very nice. And I spent all my summers in Alaska uh, during that time uh, doing uh, field work uh, for the Park Service. Four kids. Uh, my uh, son, the eldest, uh, graduated uh, with his bachelor's uh, in civil engineering from Mines. Uh, my eldest daughter, uh, she graduated with a bachelor's and a master's in civil engineering from Mines. I've got one in her sophomore year at Regis in nursing and one is just graduating from high school. My wife was a police officer. Uh, my father was a treasury agent. Uh, and uh, I had uh, come on the department very briefly in 1983. Uh, and uh, I was here for about a year and a half and then left uh, the department for the last four year stint as a uh, geologist uh, returning in 1988. Uh, my wife told me uh, we we're about to have our second kid and it was about time that I came home and stayed home. I really enjoyed the geology and I love the travel. Uh, but I have not regretted uh, a bit making the change. I started out in District 2 and uh, I've District 2 will always uh, have uh, fond memories for me uh, and a great place to work, uh, a great community. Uh, I love going to the community meetings and there and I worked in District 2 as a uh, officer and also as a lieutenant um, but uh, great, great uh, community. Also I live in District 1 and I spent uh, almost nine years uh, in District 1 both as an officer and as a uh, lieutenant. Uh, the community I live in is a fabulous community, uh, uh, very diverse, uh, great place to, to live and uh, uh, it's one of the things that makes Denver so great is the uh, type of community uh, that we have there. You get kind of immediate rewards uh, for police work. You, you get that feeling of making a difference almost every day. Uh, either you make an arrest, you intervene in a uh, domestic violence uh, type situation. Um, so you get those kind of immediate uh, uh, rewards, and of course there's adrenaline uh, at times, but uh, it's, a, it's not a job, it's a way of life. Uh, one that sticks out in my mind was a domestic violence that was occurring at the end of an ambulance, and I just walked around the corner, and the female in the uh, uh, situation had a Derringer, and she had uh, shot it in the air, so it was empty. Of course, I didn't know that at the time, but I come around the corner and uh, she turns one of those things where a reflexive turn turns with the gun in my direction and I kind of immediately fell backward, drew down on her and I'm laying on the ground saying, drop it, and she drops it. But it's one of those things, gee, that could have been much worse than it was. Uh, you know, if I had reacted and if she hadn't dropped it, uh, but you, you get those feelings that, whew, <laughs> I'm glad I just didn't draw and shoot. Police work as a career, um, I think, is uh, something, there's a special type of person who uh, goes into police work. Uh, I think it's a, a service orientation uh, and that uh, uh, most people will tell you, you know, why'd you join the police department? Well, I wanted to make a difference in, in my community and we have a very great city, I mean, uh, just look at all the investment that the people of Denver have made. Uh, we have new sports facilities, we have a new convention center, we have a new, uh, next to the convention center, a uh, uh, huge uh, hotel that the city helped uh, uh, bring about. There's a lot of investment. The people in Denver look, uh, are forward looking. They're, they're willing to invest in uh, their future. And I think to be a police officer with that service orientation in a city like Denver, it's a great combination.